Matthew 25, verse 31. Now, all along of Matthew 24 and 25, we've been talking about not the church age. We've been talking about the tribulation. We've been talking about the second advent. A little bit of the, the kingdom to come. We've been talking about Jesus Christ. We're talking about the Hebrews, the Jews, the, the people of Judah, the Israelites. There are things that we can spiritually apply to the church, but preaching don't make good doctrine, and do, good doctrine good doctrine doesn't make good preaching. So we come to another phrase. I must warn you, because we're going to read. It is not, it is not the great white throne judgment. As some well-known commentary writers will put. I'll leave it like that. 25:30. when the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, shall come in his glory. That's not the rapture. Jesus Christ does not come at the great white throne judgment. Having her leave, Jesus is on his throne. He's been on his throne since the millennium. So the time that Jesus comes, now in the tribulation, there is a rapture. That's not the rapture of the church. But after the seven years, Jesus Christ mounts up on a horse. The Christians mount on their horses. And the Bible says the angels. Can you imagine the display of unsaved man when here is Jesus, here is the church, and here are the angels? And I ain't talking about a ball team if they're still in California or not. Imagine the Los Angeles Angels. Ha, 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 ha. Let me change it. Los Angeles Fallen Angels. You know, we're getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Let's play ball! I'll tell you what a Super Bowl is. Lettuce, tomato, onion, croutons, we some ham. That's a good Super Bowl. Well, it's a Christian thing playing on Sunday. I mean, those players are going to go to church. Yeah, they'll go to church. Oh, Lord God, the Father, here I am in church. Please let your team win. The Son of Man, come in his glory. This is the second advent. Of Jesus Christ. The second coming. Either or. And all the holy angels. Why would the, why would the Holy Spirit say holy angels? Because in heaven. There are unholy angels. And they've been cast to the ground. Revelation 12. So at this point. There are angels running around on the earth. Of Satan. All of them. Satan is no more in heaven, Revelation 12. Ooh, can you imagine that scene? Only ones left are the holy angels. Now think about this first advent of Jesus Christ. Lord, just lay this on my heart right now. Jesus left heaven. Leaves the throne, is born in the manger. All the angels, he, I think it's Hebrews, they, they don't have no idea what, what's going on. But they can't be redeemed. They're not redeemed. So Jesus leaves for 33 and a half years. He comes back to the Father's throne. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. There is a period called the church age. Whenever that ends, Jesus again leaves the throne. He's in above the clouds. He meets the Christians and he brings us home to the angels. Okay, and we, the judgment seat of Christ, crowns and no crowns. Can you imagine angels looking at Christians that have no crowns? All right. Now, here we are, the second, and Lord just laid this on my, the holy angels. Where are the Old Testament saints? Are they, it says all the holy angels. 
you realize in a moment of time, all the angels are away from God, holy and unholy. There will be a time right now, there'll be no angels in heaven. Brother, that's a lot because Jesus said just before going, listen, I could call was it 12, 12 legion of angels. There's more than 12 legion. They all lead the Father for the Son and with us. I don't know if there's going to be Christians left. I don't know if the Christians who don't get an earned inheritance if they go into the millennium. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and all the Old Testament and 24 chapters of Matthew, half of 25, the throne of his glory is David's throne in Jerusalem, king of kings, lord of lords, never king of the church. There he comes. That's, that's the second advent. That's the millennial heritage, inheritance right there, okay? Not the great white throne. You got to learn that. You got to rightly divide. And before him shall be all nations. I don't know if America's around. I don't know if Russia's around. Oh, actually, we do know Russia will be allowed. I don't know if England and Mexico, Chinese, Sudan, Pakistan. I don't know if they're going to be there. It's not Israel because Israel is not a nation. They are God's governing group of people. Matter of fact, really, you would put Israel as a common, I mean, the Old Testament doesn't say nations, but we're talking about all Gentiles who have been in the tribulation period that we're going to say, see right now. And he shall separate them. Look at that. God's against the unity. The nations. He's going to call them up. He's going to separate them from one from another. All right, let's just say America here. England here, Canada there, Mexico here, Russia there. Well, I don't know, I'm just saying. As a shepherd, and Jesus Christ is the shepherd, first and second Peter, he's the chief shepherd. John chapter 20, 10, excuse me. Divides his sheep from the goats. All right, so out of the nations are going to be two groups of people. They're going to be sheep. And goats, nothing in between, nothing more, nothing left. You're a sheep or you're a goat. One of them is bad. I had to do that. He shall set the sheep on the right hand. Now, always the right hand strength. Jesus Christ sits on the right hand. But the goats are on the left hand. Okay. So, the, the nation, all the nations are separated. Some are sheep, some are goats. They're divided. They're either on the right hand, they're on the left hand. Either they're a sheep or they're a goat. Sheep on the right hand, goats on the left. Got it? Then shall the king, capital K, millennium. The millennium is before the great white throne judgment. There is a judgment of nations. After the seven year tribulation period and into the millennium. But not yet the millennium. Or into the millennium. We'll read. Come ye blessed my father. These are the right hands. Inherit the kingdom. The millennial kingdom. The, the right hand sheep get the inheritance of the kingdom prepared from you from the foundation of the world. <laughs> Genesis 1 1, Genesis 1 2. The foreknowledge of God. That would kick all the evolutions right in the fancy wancy. Take that monkey jerk, kick him, turn around, get back in the water. All right. For I, Jesus speaking, was hungry. 
in the in the in the, in the, in the tribulation period. I want to get the dispensations right. No food unless you get the mark. You know, I noticed lately, oh, for a while now, when I grew up as a kid and I went all over, and like when I was when I was married and we moved, we would go to dumpsters and we would look for boxes and we would find boxes. You know, you find dumpsters today lost. I was hungry. You gave me meat. Food. Meat can be food. Doesn't have to be animal. I was thirsty. Well, one third of the water has been turned to blood. And you gave me drink. I was a stranger. You took me in. Now, if you got the mark, you don't want to befriend anybody with the mark because you become public enemy number two to the Antichrist. You say, well, who's number one? The Jews. Okay. Naked. You clothed me. You know, this is beginning to sound like Paul. In the perils, I was hungered. I had no drink. I've been a stranger to the churches, naked in time, sick, in prison. Looks like Paul is a type of tribulation Jew, and he is Jewish. He gets tribulation from the Jews, from the Gentiles, from the government, from Christians, and from Gentiles. Naked, you clothed me, gave me food. I mean, gave me clothes. Don't put food on. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Man, they are putting themselves out openly for I. Then the righteous, this is the sheep, and the right hand, nations. The righteous, Jesus calls them. Answer and said, answer him saying, Lord, look at that, Lord, talking to Jesus, capital L. When saw we, when saw we the in hunger and fed thee? Huh? Or thirsty and gave thee drink? Huh? When saw thee a stranger and took thee in? What? Or naked in clothing? Or when saw we thee, Jesus, or in prison and came unto thee, Jesus, they have no idea what Jesus has said to them. He says, you were kind to me, you were helpful to me, and you were given to me. And their reply is in the English, huh? what? They have done what they've done unknowing. Now, you know there was a time in that seven years. They, 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 no, they've given somebody food. They've given somebody visitation. I wonder how often your church has been kind to a stranger. Is giving clothes, visit the sick, visit a prison ministry, fed those that were hungry, gave those a drink. I wonder how often. And the king, capital K, king of king, lord of lords, shall answer and say unto them, the sheep, the right hand, the nation. Verily I say unto you, this is important, it's a verily, not a verily, verily, but this is important. Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, he came unto his own, his own Jewish. Now do you see where the Catholics get, well, you know, Joseph and Salome and, 
and, and, and, and Simon and Je that wasn't Jesus' brothers and sisters. It was this, you know, the commonly Jews. Go ahead, twist the scriptures and then face God. He came on his own. We know Jesus is Jewish. We know he came to the Jewish people all through Matthew 25 chapters and the end of the chapter. That's why you can't say church. Because there is no church in the tribulation period. We're gone. We're in heaven. So when you have taken care of the Jew, how would they know they don't cannot and will not receive that mark if they're good Jews. He had done it unto me. So what Jesus said, taking care of the Jews in the tribulation period is credited to you that you took care of me. Wow. And they don't even know what they did. Then shall he, Jesus, say unto them, the sheep, right, so now he turns attention to the other group. Then he shall say unto them on the left hand, the goats. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back to the sheep again. He said, verse 34, Then shall the king say unto you on the right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, capital F, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. What is the salvation of the sheep? Nation. Not Jewish nation. Their salvation is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. No. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, in, and do the law. No. Well, how did she get into the kingdom? You helped the Jew. And you don't even know what you're doing. Is that one 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 38? 13? 38? No, not 38. Yeah, 38, 39, 40, 41, all the way down to, damn it, I'm lost here, 40. There are Gentiles in the tribulation period that will feed, give drink, clothe, visit, care, band-aid, whatever it is, to Jews who are persecuted, who don't have the mark, who are being taunted, and chased by the Antichrist, they know what, what is going on, and they still say to the Jew, let me help you. They're not doing it for salvation. They're not doing it for Jesus. They're doing it because it's right. And God calls them righteous. They go into the kingdom that is their their reward for helping Jews in the tribulation. They go into millennium and inherit everything of the millennium. Now, aren't they going to be happy? Those are the Jews they help, and those they help all in the millennium. Hey, I want to thank you very much for taking care of me and my family. Man, when it wasn't for you, we weren't survive. And now let's enjoy Jesus. <laughs> yeah. How about when when the Christian gets to heaven and the guy comes running up, puts his arm around him, he's hugging, kissing you, loving you, saying, "Oh, well, no, hold on." You know that time you put that that gospel track in the, my car door? You know, I put him a lot of car door. But listen, you you put it in my car door. I I threw it in you know in the car in a little while and I read it. You know what? You and my neighbor. That guy also tracking my name. You know, I believed on Jesus. Here I am. Thank you very much. 
so winning, it's going to be a joyful event in heaven. You may not have thought anything happened until you get to heaven. I think God will let us know in heaven to keep the pride down. Because a lot of church, I, I got one church, every single week, a revival, 25 people get saved. I, I'm like, oh, come on. You've got to be doing something wrong. But I don't say nothing. Here, here they are in the millennium. Hey. Jacob, you know, listen, I, I didn't even know what I was doing. That's okay. Here we are. And if they live right and do right and do what they're supposed to, not only will they, they will end up in the new heavens, I believe, in the afterlife. I, the, 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 the Christian gets New Jerusalem. The Hebrew, Israelite, Judah, they get the new earth, promised to Abraham. Hebrew says he hasn't got it yet. And the new heavens are the Gentiles. And then we all get together through the open gates that never shut. It will not, we won't have illegal aliens and immigrants and Mexicans and whoever come running in. We'll all be coming in for Jesus. All right, now. 41. Then shall he say to them on the left hand, the goats. So sheep are a type of righteous people, Israel, and righteous Gentile. Never, never Christians. I'm sorry, when you say a Christian type of sheep, you know that you're, you're taking the Bible out of context. Because, all right, John chapter 10, he says, John chapter 10, let's see what he says. John chapter 10. And I know where it is on my Bible, so I gotta find it here. He says, uh, other, other, other sheep don't have others. All right, verse 16. Other sheep I have which are not of this fold, then also I bring, they shall hear my voice, they shall be one fold and one shepherd. All right, there goes the Christian. What did we just read in Matthew 25? Maybe that other sheep are the Gentiles in the tribulation. That's scripture with scripture. I hate to bust your butt. Now, we can spiritualize, but spirit, you know, not good doctrine, do good doctrine, not good preaching. Possibility. Get the Bible right. I think the light of the scene church age has got the Bible all messed up. I was thinking about that today. All right. So, let me get back to where he is. All right, left hand. It's hard to find. It's, 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 depart from me. Uh-oh. The goats, the left hand, get out of here. Where do they go? We'll read it in a moment. Ye cursed. Well, that's not very good. Into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil. They go to hell. It does not say they go into the lake of fire. Now, Revelation 20, go check. It says hell and death and hell came up, brought the people, and all, death and hell was cast in the lake of fire. This is hell. You know why hell was made? For the angel, for the devil and his angels. Hell was never made for man. Hell opened its gates when Adam and Eve ate the fruit. And I believe if Cain died first, I don't know, and the Bible doesn't say I'm besides Abel. But hell was never made for man. So don't go say God just throw you in hell, this and all that. It wasn't for you. That gift wasn't for you. That's because you violated God's word, Adam. For I was hungered. You gave me no me. So when you go back to the good ones, Back to 
35, ye gave, ye gave, ye took, ye closed, ye visited, ye came. Back to the bad ones. I was hungry, you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. So the word no has a big two letter word. And these guys are cursing. Now they are afraid of the word no today. Don't say no. Don't tell your children no. Give them give them a time out. There are proper times to say no. Don't ever tell Jesus. Don't ever tell God. Don't ever tell Jesus. Don't ever tell the Holy Spirit no. In word, in deed, and action. Because if somebody's hungry, you don't have to say, no, get out of here. Go get yourself a job. Now, I will do that in front of Walmart. Because I've talked to the homeless people in front of Walmart. And I've seen the homeless people at Walmart. There's a, there's a building and a sign right next to Walmart. It says, text this number for a job at one of the hamburger joints. I won't give the name. There's another hamburger joint across the street. They say help one. There are four, three or four oh, <coughs> excuse me, auto parts stores. Why you don't need, I don't know. But they got signs. Help wanted. There's a submarine grinder place. It says help wanted. There's a grocery store. In, 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 across the street from Walmart, help once. They won't get a job. One guy told me, I can't quote for say, the guy told me, listen, the money I make, it's tax free. I'm not going to tell you I don't help. Um, I do. I'm going to leave it because. I'm troubled by giving illustration of what I do, so I don't want you to look at me. There are people who I have told no, and there are people I said yes. But you've got to kind of pass a little test with me. I'm not going to hand out money, which I've done a couple times on special occasions. You're hungry. You need food. I know how to do to see if that's what you need or if you're just trying to get money for sex, tattoos, or whatever you want. I got a little test. Many have failed that test. But in the tribulation period, when a guy or woman comes up to you and they have no mark, you are public enemy number two, number one being the Jew. And I don't know if you're going to know that you... Jews are very recognizable. So they'll probably maybe be public enemy number one. I ain't going to help you. No way. Get out of here before, before I get my head chopped off. I, I was thirsty. You gave me no drink. I was, it sounds familiar. I was strange. You took me not in. I could have a hotel. You go up the front desk. Oh, no, not you. Now, they are recognizing them as Jews and no mark. There'll be no one holding a sign in the tribulation. I L M. Israel lies matter. J L M. Jews lies. They won't be holding them signs, brother. They, the world will be as prejudiced. 
You know who the first three places abomination shows up? It's one group of people. It's the colored man, the Egyptian. We don't eat with shepherds. We don't associate ourselves with the Hebrews. I forget what the third one is. All three are the colored man. Well, you know, America, we kept we were slaves in America. You kept Jewish people slaves in Africa, my friend. And you wouldn't go when the God of the Hebrews said, let them go. Oh, no. I was a stranger. You took me not in. Naked and you clothed me. You know what they do if they're naked? They would mock them. You know what they did? Listen, I know the colored people, but you don't talk about the Jewish people. The Jewish people, they would put them up on, on, a, on the podium, the platform, and they would be naked. You would have them next to naked Africans, too, and naked Indians and all these, you know. They wouldn't buy the Jewish. They'd buy the colored man. They'd buy the Indian. They wouldn't buy the Jews. They couldn't sell the Jews. They couldn't profit from the Jews. That's in the Bible. And they were mocked just like they were they mocked Jesus. Now, let's keep going. And in prison, you visit me not. Okay? Let's go to the good guys. Let's not do the bad guys. All right, verse number 20, uh, no, excuse me, 35. And ye hungered. Can you imagine times that Jesus hungered and fasted? He hungered for 40 days, and the devil showed up. He couldn't get nothing to eat. I guess it was the Christian Sabbath, and the chicken place was closed. I don't know. I was thirsty. You realize two times in Jesus' ministry, he asked for a drink of water, and he didn't get it both times. Talking with the woman at the well and on the cross. Look at it. He never got the water. He was a stranger. Israel did not take him in. They reject. He came on his own and his own received him not. Naked. He's on the cross. I'm sorry, I know they draw pictures covering up, but he was naked. And no one covered him. I don't care what the pain is doing. They got the wrong Jesus on the cross. They got a Gentile Jesus on the cross. <laughs> he was Jewish. He was naked. Sick. And I don't know if Jesus ever got sick. You can't take it all the way. Prison. Well, what happened to him when they took him from the garden? What happened between the, the, the Sanhedrin and the Roman government? What happened to Jesus happens to the Jews. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. What so man sows that he shall also reap. You got the same thing. So when it comes to clothing, <laughs> you're, you're, you're God's people. Uh, come on, call on Jehovah, have him help you now. Come on. The same thing that happened with Jesus. I guarantee it. Verse 43, I was a stranger, you took me not in. Naked, you clothed me not. Naked, sick, and in prison, you visited me. <laughs> Look how Jesus like, hurries it up at the end. He doesn't even say it completely. He's like, all right, let's just get this done. I'm disgusted. I'm angry. Then shall they also answer him, the, bad, the ghosts, on the left side. Lord, <laughs> oh, yeah. How many times did they call him Lord and Master through Matthew? And they didn't mean it. Well, you know that young rich Lord, you know, he said, and Jesus said, you know, call no man good, only my father. And you see, Jesus not got, Lord, he called them Lord or Master. He didn't believe Boy, it's so great. He's gone through a whole complete message. He said nothing about 
Tamus and Christmas. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? Because I like it. When saw we the hunger or a thirst? Look how they cut it short. Or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee. <laughs> I mean, at least the righteous, the, 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 the sheep nations, you know, hunger. We didn't and feed you. You were thirsty. We gave you drink. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Look what they are. Hunger at their hand. Then shall he answer them. Because every question Jesus answers, no one can answer Jesus. I believe at the great white stone judgment. I believe this. I could be wrong. I believe that God's going to give them an opportunity to put their questions to him. I guarantee there'll probably be people that are going to walk up to Jesus time after day. Well, I'm black. You got to let me in. Black lives matter. <laughs> that message I did the other day about Jesus laughing. <laughs> you want to know how many black men from the earth that came into my heaven? <laughs> that worship me? <laughs> Well, I'm a follower of MLK. And I'll tell you where I think MLK went. I think I'll tell you where Rosa Parks went, but I'll shut up. Then shall he answer them. Verily, that's a verily, I say unto you, inasmuch as you did it not to one of these, one of the least of these, you did it not unto me. Least, I mean, a beggar. Still, they're my people. They're my nation. They are God's people. You didn't do it to me. These shall go away in everlasting punishment. That's hell. That's fire. Then we'll get baptized with the baptism of fire. You don't want that one. But the righteous, he already said, go back up. Let me see. Verse 37, then shall the righteous answer, that's the sheep, they help the Jews. And they don't even know what they did. <laughs> How's that for a salvation? But don't you know some churches that, that you don't know if you're going to get to heaven unless you show up? There are some people in heaven that don't know that they'll be there when you see them. That's tribulation doctrine. Now, I could see somebody say they got a loved one, a spouse or children or grand. I hope they're going to be there. I'll talk about my dad. and Throughout the years, witnessing to my, my dad was the first one I witnessed. I got saved the 25th of April. I witnessed to him the 26th every year since 87. Come to find out, I went to another church, visited another church a couple times. And then before we came to Florida, I met a man there named Joe. Joe came up to me, goes, Styler? He goes, yeah. He goes, I know your grandpa. I know your uncle. I know your dad. I know, you know my aunts and uncles. He goes, you know, I witnessed to every single one of them. Well, so Styler, what's he at? What do you think about my grandpa? He, he shook his head. He said, I, I really don't think so, Styler. But I'm not sure. Okay. I got a 50, 50, 50 chance. I'm going to see... Uh, Grandpa Hayward, slightly in heaven. And I said, well, what about my uncle? And it's weird in my family. Nobody talks about my uncle whose name's Tyler. Matter of fact, they call him Junior. To this day, I don't know anything about, no, even from Joe. I don't know anything about Uncle Tyler. There's a little thing back in my head saying he could be a Christian. They just hated him. I don't know. They went to a Baptist church. That church, when I left Connecticut, was you can bring any Bible you want. I don't know. I can't imagine what it is today. But my grandmother took the children. My grandpa didn't go. The pastor Ward, I heard he was okay. My my dad would tell me that in Sunday school, him and my uncle would. Open up the Sunday school window and hop out and go jump the trains to go to EB. 
pop the trees illegally. I talked to my Uncle Joe. I told, oh, no, talked to Mr. Joe. I'm not going to mention his name. And I said, you know, I tried witness to him. I said, we've we done everything. Gospel track. And I honestly believe that 99% chance today my dad is in hell. Okay? Uh, Haywards, there is a possibility. These shall go away to everlasting punishment. That's a surety. And they don't go into hell until he tells them. Boom, now they go into hell. You know, if Jesus didn't tell me I was going to go to hell and I end up in hell. Uh, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. With the mouth confesses man unto salvation. I mean, with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confesses man unto salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Who he that has the son has everlasting life. He that has not the son shall not see life, but everlasting uh, damnation. Oh, if you hear preaching, you hear street preacher, you've been in church, you hear the gospel, you hear the old time Christmas carol, you hear some of the hymns, you hear uh, uh, Handel's Messiah, you heard about heaven and hell. You heard how to go to hell and how to go to heaven. Now, you may not heard it personally from the lips of Jesus, but when you got a King James Bible-believing preacher, teacher, saint with the gospel, that's the lips of Jesus. And the great white throne judgment, if you're going to question God about hell and all that, he'll call up the people that witness to you. He'll bring up the CD or the music of Christ before you go into the lake of fire. But the righteous, that's the sheep, that's the ones on the right hand. Pay attention to right hand and left hand in the Bible. Into life eternal. Now, 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 wait a minute. That's not heaven. That's the millennium. You still can lose it in the millennium. There is a big open pit, lake. Or, or excuse me, yeah, lake of fire on the earth. And when Jesus tells you to go jump in the lake, you don't want that. When Satan is loose, he gathers an army from the millennium to go against God and the saints. <laughs> Some of that army may be the people we're talking about right now. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I could be wrong about this. This is probably maybe coming from Jesus or my head. I think a male sheep is called a ram. And a mama sheep is called a sheep. An ewe. You, I already say it. And a baby sheep of mama, uh, papa ram and mama ewe is a lamb. So that lamb has half sheep and half ram. I don't know if that's something that came to my head or my heart. This is not the great white throne judgment. There is a judgment of nations. So what I believe in the Bible, there is the judgment of the world, Noah's blood. There's a judgment of Christians, judgment seat of Christ, during the tribulation period. There is a judgment of nations. Then there's a great white throne judgment. And then as far as I can see, there's no other judgment ever again. 